Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting question from rational equations. The given equation is 4x power 5 plus x cube over 2x minus 3 whole square plus 1 over 4 equal to 5 over 4x minus 6 whole square. We have to find out real solutions, real values of x. So let's get started this video by writing domain of the equation first. So we have got two denominators right now. So I will put denominator cannot be 0. So first denominator I can write 2x minus 3 can't be 0. So x cannot be 3 over 2. Now second denominator. I can write 4x minus 6 cannot be 0. So this way we are getting the same result. x cannot be 3 over 2. So exempted value is x cannot be 3 over 2. Now you can see from this bracket if I will take 2 common then it will come as 4 outside. So let me do it. 4x power 5 plus x cube over 2x minus 3 whole square plus 1 over 4 equal to 5 over let me take 2 common from the bracket. So I will write here 4 in bracket it would be 2x minus 3 whole square. Same denominator as the first term is having. Now I, I will multiply this equation with 4 first to get rid of denominator 4. So I need to write here 4. I need to write here 4 also. Now you can see this 4 4 will be over. This 4 4 will be over. You can write over there 1. Now if you will see we have one denominator 2x minus 3 whole square and right hand side the same denominator. So I will maintain here also. I will multiply numerator denominator with 2x minus 3 whole square. Once I will multiply with 2x minus 3 whole square, then you can simply multiply this equation with 2x minus 3 whole square as x cannot be equal to 3 over 2. So once you will multiply, we will get this equation. 4 times 4x power 5 plus x cube plus 2x minus 3 whole square equal to 5. Now don't multiply the multiplier 4 with the bracket. 4 times 4x power 5 plus x cube. And then I will take expansion. So I will write here 4x square minus 12x plus 9 equal to 5. Now let us take all the term to the left. So once I will take 5 to the left, it will give us 4. So 4 times 4x power 5 plus x cube plus 4x square minus 12x 9 minus 5 4. Now you can understand this complete equation is divisible by 4. So let's divide. So I will write 4x power 5 plus x cube plus x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So what is equation now? It is one simple quintic equation. Polynomial of degree 5. So we are going to find out five solutions of this equation and see I will use our conventional and favorite method that is method of SDM synthetic division method. Let me write this equation here 4x power 5 plus x cube plus x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So let me use rational root theorem first. So constant coefficient is 1. So I can write eligible factors plus minus 1. Leading coefficient 4. I can write eligible factors plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4. Done. So our eligible base solution or solutions of this quintic equations. Let me write here the ratio of constant to the leading coefficient. So plus 1 over 1. So that is 1. Plus 1, plus minus 1 over 2 and plus minus 1 over 4. So out of these 6 solutions, 
one solution will satisfy this equation. So let me put few values. Let me write here x is equal to negative 1, suppose. See what will happen. Let me write directly minus 1 raised to the power 5 minus 1. So let me write minus 4 minus 1 plus 1 minus 3 times minus 1 plus 3 plus 1. So 3 plus 1 plus 1, 5 minus 5. So it will be over. That means x is equal to negative 1 is our base solution. Now I will use the SDM method or synthetic division method. I will write the quintic coefficients. So let me write the coefficient of x power 5, 4. The coefficient of x power 4, no it is not there, so 0. Coefficient of x cube, 1. Coefficient of x square, 1. Coefficient of x negative 3 and constant coefficient is 1. Put over there one line. This is our base solution. Remember, we will multiply 1 by 1 with this base solution. Okay. Leading coefficient or term as it is 4. Minus 1 times 4. Minus 4. Add both the numbers. Minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 4. 4. 5. Minus 1 times 5. Minus 5. Minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 4. 4. 1. Minus 1 times 1. Minus 1. 0. So these are the coefficients for quartic equation okay one degree shorter than the quintic so let me frame quartic equation so i will write 4x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 5x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 again i i will use the rational root theorem so eligible factors for constant coefficient that is plus minus 1. Again you can see here I will write plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and plus minus 4. Okay. Once you will put the ratio, once you will find the ratio of constant coefficient to the leading coefficient, you will get to know the eligible factors which may satisfy the quartic equation. So let me put over here. Let me write in the next slide this equation 4x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 5x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. So let us put over here x is equal to half. As it is using rational root theorem is also verifying the same value. So I will write 4 times 1 over 2 whole power 4 minus 4 times 1 over 2 whole cube plus 5 into 1 over 2 whole square minus 4 into 1 over 2 and last value is plus 1 equal to we have to verify it so let us verify first so 4 into 1 over 16 minus 4 into 1 over 8 plus 5 into 1 over 4 minus 4 minus 2 plus 1 and right hand side we have to find out see denominator is not same so first i will cancel so it will give us 4 this will give us 2 denominator and this is 5 over 4 so let us convert this whole denominator 4 so i will write this fraction as 1 over 4 then I need to write minus 2 over 4 over here. Then I will write it is already in the denominator 4. This value is negative 1. So I will write minus 4 over 4. Now you can check 5 plus 1, 6 over 4. And minus 2, minus 4, minus 6 over 4. So yes, it is true. It is giving us 0. Okay, so x is equal to half is our solution. So I will use again the same method that is synthetic division method. Let me write here SDM. Write coefficients of quartic equation. So I will write 4, the coefficient of x power 4, coefficient of x cube minus 4, x square 5, coefficient of x minus 4, constant coefficient 1. Okay, let us put over there one line and remember 
this time our base solution is x is equal to half so far we have calculated solution as minus 1 is true that is our first base solution and second solution is x is equal to half this base solution so leading coefficient i will write 4 as it is half times 4 2 it will give us minus 2 half times minus 2 minus 1 4 half times 4 2 minus 2 half times minus 2 minus 1 0 so these are coefficients for cubic equation okay so let me write that cubic formation 4x cube or let me write in the next slide 4x cube minus 2x square plus 4x minus 2 equal to 0 let us write here 4x cube minus 2x square plus 4x minus 2 equal to 0 so equation is divisible by 2 so let me divide by 2 first 2x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 so from the first two term x square is looking common so i will write 2x minus 1 from the last two term 1 is common in bracket i can write 2x minus 1 now 2x minus 1 is overall common i will write in this manner x square plus 1 equal to 0 so now you can see once i will put 2x minus 1 equal to 0 i will collect my solution half and once i am putting x square plus 1 equal to 0 so i can write x square is equal to negative 1 complex solution negative 1 we can write i square take a square root both sides x will come out plus minus i so our final quintic solution for the given rational equation or you can say the quintic equation that is our exempted value was x cannot be 3 over 2 remember so none of our solution is x equal to 3 over 2 let me write our complete overall solutions so the very first base solution minus 1 then we got half twice so half again we can write half or multiplicity 2 we can write and then we have got two complex solution that is plus minus i so complex solution we will reject as it is not asked so this is our ultimate solution okay now you can see easily two complex solutions are rejected three are real so let us verify so let me write here verification okay done x is equal to minus 1 first okay so my numerator will be power is odd so minus 4 minus 1 over 2x value will be minus 2 minus 3 so minus 5 whole square 25 plus 1 by 4 and right hand side if you will put the value 5 over 4x so minus 4 minus 6 minus 10 whole square 100 so you can see it is minus 5 over 25 so let me write minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 4 and right hand side is 1 over 20 so 5 minus 1 take lcm so 5 minus 4 so 1 over 20 which is true so this solution is verified now come to the second solution that is half only two solutions are real but half having multiplicity 2 let me put over there in place of 2x we can put 1 cross multiply or in place of 4x you can write 2 let us put directly in the equation here okay so i will write 4x power 5 so let me write here 4 x is half so i will write 1 over 32 plus 1 over 8 this is our numerator divided by 2x minus 3 2x is 1 minus 3 so minus 2 whole square 4 plus 1 over 4 equal to 5 over 4x is 2 2 minus 6 is 4 minus 4 whole square so i will write 16 okay check one more time 
फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू 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 माइनस सिक्स इज फोर फोर होल स्क्वायर इज सिक्सटीन सो करेक्ट इट इज नाउ आई कैन कैंसल फोर एट सो इट इज वन ओवर एट प्लस वन ओवर एट सो दैट वैल्यू विल बी टू ओवर एट दैट मीन्स वन ओवर फोर डिनोमिनेटर इज ऑल्सो फोर सो वन ओवर सिक्सटीन प्लस वन ओवर फोर इज दिस इक्वल टू फाइव ओवर सिक्सटीन सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई हेयर फोर फोर नाउ इट इज डिनोमिनेटर कॉमन सिक्सटीन सो फोर टाइम्स वन इज फोर प्लस वन सो फाइव ओवर सिक्सटीन इक्वल टू फाइव ओवर सिक्सटीन दैट मीन्स दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरीफाइड I hope you like this video this video will be somewhere meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care